Hi everyone. I'm so excited you guys are here because, oh my gosh, it's time to have a little bit of dinner, a little bit of wine, and I'm all dressed up. I'm ready to go out. I'm going to take a long walk to the kitchen and get my dinner and get my wine. So I hope you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diaries. Oh my gosh, I love being able to dress up and just spend a little bit of time with you guys, just chatting, having a little bit of dinner. Yeah, this food involves, so if you're, it's late at night and you're watching this, you may want to proceed with caution. So anyway, we've got a little bit of dinner, we've got a little bit of wine, and before I start, I just want to um, remind you guys, I do have that little giveaway going on. I will have that video posted up there, and it is going to close on Saturday, the 25th, and we will pull a winner on Sunday the 26th and I'm just excited to do that it's just a little thank you guys for watching my October videos and just the fun that I just had just trying to dress up in costume and just have the Halloween spirit but anyway tonight it's well it's kind of still about Halloween spirit I bought this wine I'm probably going to say the name wrong so I'm sorry in advance from Lelana Cellars in Michigan and I bought I think I bought this last year and I didn't get to have it during Halloween and I didn't even think about having it during the fall and um didn't get a chance to pull it out this Halloween and um yeah so I thought you know what we're going to do it for fall so this is Witch's Brew a really cute label again it's Leelana Cellars in Michigan and this is a red red wine with spice added so basically a mulled wine so I had this in the refrigerator since I before Halloween because I was going to try to squeeze that in but I didn't so I heated some up to have some whoop drunk side I heated some up to have some warm now they do sell and I always figured if I like the wine and I went back to shopping online they do have cups metal cups that say which is brew but I grabbed this one from a vino that says warm and cozy so I heated some up and I'm going to have some that's cold just to see which way I like it so I've got this glass that I got from Etsy last year from um, I think the name was Snap Elf she still sells glasses and things like that so she's had some incredible sales I really didn't need any more glasses so I didn't buy any but I love the glasses I got some Christmas ones from her and I got this one for fall last year so anyway we're going to have a little bit of wine that's cold as well so let's put that down this is 12 and a half percent alcohol and I'm not sure what spices are in here I'm assuming maybe like um, clove and cinnamon, things like that. They do have a sweetness scale on the back that I think goes from 1 through 5. They've got it rated at a 4, so it should be good. I think they've got some words here, so let's see if we can focus. So, Lilana Sellers, drink up, which is a layered and aromatic celebration of traditional mulling spices this distinctive red blend can be enjoined enjoyed warmed or devilishly hot prepare in microwave crock pot or stove top to warm the coldest and darkest nights throughout the year well it's not that cold right now it's only 43 and okay so it's like quarter of one in the morning yeah i know I'm, i start late Sometimes I just start late. So anyway, I'm just going to pour a little bit of this cold wine in here. And then I'll figure out if I like it warm or cold. So, okay, it's a nice kind of like a cranberry red. It's 12.5 and it's weird because I had a 12 
I have no idea why that finger sticks up in the air. But anyway, I had like a 12% the other day that was really coating the glass. This one doesn't really seem to be coating the glass. I smell, I think, cinnamon, some clove. Maybe like some allspice. Maybe a little bit of apple. Cheers, everyone. I'm not sure on the apple. Cheers. Probably more clove than cinnamon. I need to get that sensation of apples, but I'm not positive that there's apples in here. But it is, I do love mulled wine in the winter. I love, like, um, when we knew people were coming over and things like that and i would just have it sitting in the crock pot or when we lived uh, in rhode island and we had a wood stove i would keep a pot on the wood stove in the winter and it was just warm and when you come in the house you got the smell of the mulling spices and things like that and it was just really nice when you come in from the cold and the snow and shoveling or whatever you just kind of had a nice mulled wine that was warm so it is nice cold i wouldn't mind drinking it cold I'm going to hold it this way, which is weird because I'm left-handed, but I want you guys to see the warm and cozy. So anyway, cheers, everyone, and then we're going to get into the dinner. So cheers. I couldn't wait. This smells really good. It's good either way because it's right now it's kind of cooled down a little bit, but if you had this nice and warm, you would probably feel it just kind of warm all the way down to your tummy, but... Yeah, it's really good. Cheers, everyone. Hope you guys had a great week. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you guys have some awesome, awesome plans for the weekend. So, cheers. Going to have another quick sip, and then we're going to get into my dinner. Cheers. Alrighty, so I was thinking that this was the apple wine, and I was thinking what would go with apple, and I was thinking pork. Kind of like the Brady Bunch, pork chops and applesauce. But, Anyway, so I got a teriyaki pork roast. So I think it was about one and a half pounds. And it was $6.99. And then to go with it, I got some P.F. Chang's, um, the teriyaki rice. So I got the rice. It's got some peas and carrots, I guess, in there. And you know, when I had this roast before, I cooked it in the oven. And then when I took it out, you just sliced it like a roast. But I did this one in the crock pot. And I used some extra sweet baby raised teriyaki, poured that over it, left it in the microwave for about four hours, and it just it wants to shred like shredded pork. And I'm okay with that because this will make some really great sandwiches during the week. Alrighty, so I'm just going to have a bite here. And again, it just kind of shredded as I was taking it out and trying to cut it into slices. And I love the sweet baby raised. But this is really good. It's nice and tender. It's really got some really nice flavor. And I have a little bit of rice. This is going to be a great dinner. I have a little bit of wine to wash it down. Cheers, everyone. So anyway, it's not the apple one that I thought I had, but it's a great fall wine. I loved mulled wine anyway from Winehaven. They sell the mulling spices. So good. I think I still have a packet of that left. I think last time I bought it, I bought two packages and I only had one that we opened when I think when uh, Raina and Jeremy and Maddie, Matt, and Quinn were here, I think. So that was a couple of years ago we had that. So it, the pack should still be good in case we want to do it again. But we have this. I don't think it's... I think they're coming around Christmas time. So yeah, this isn't going to be around by then. But if it was, I would share it with them. I would share it with you guys if you guys were here. So again, this is from Little and Ocellas. Again, so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. The Witch's Brew. I think I had an apple one last year. I think they, they had one that was called like Snow Days or something. It was a nice white wine. I had that last year or two years ago. So anyway, I think this is the last one I have from Lila and I. Not sure if I'm going to put in an, another order this year, but if I do it next year, I'm going to order that little metal cup. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few. I've got a piece of rice moving around my mouth. Kind of awkward. 
okay it's gone so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me oh you guys gosh you guys mean the world to me and i am so blessed i'm so lucky to have you guys in my life i so appreciate when you guys leave comments and give me a like and it's just so nice getting to chit chat back and forth and getting to know everyone if you've tried this little and Asala's and you can let me know what you think about it any of their good they have some nice fruit wines in there too so if you've gone to them let me know what uh, favorites you have from them or if you've gone there in person what's it what's it like i think it's right on the lake so that should be a fun trip i don't know if it's in the upper peninsula or not but anyway i just enjoy shopping online when you can go all over to the places that sell to different states other than you have to pay shipping so sometimes once i get a mailing list they let me know when there's sales or if it's a free shipping weekend or something so that's always good you can appreciate and take advantage of those sales online and other than that um i just want you guys to know that i love you guys so much i really appreciate you i hope you guys go out have a fabulous weekend i would love to hear your dinner plans your weekend plans are you already putting up your christmas decorations am i the only one so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for stopping in again take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video